Good morning, everybody. My name is Daniel Pello, coming to you here from First Presbyterian Church in Covington, Virginia. Starting out this morning with a scripture reading from Luke chapter 14, verse 25 through 35. Now large crowds were traveling with him, and he turned and said to them, Whoever comes to me and does not hate father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, yes, and even life itself, cannot be my disciple. Whoever does not carry the cross and follow me cannot be my disciple. For which of you, intending to build a tower, does not first sit down and estimate the cost, to see whether he has enough to complete it? Otherwise, when he has laid a foundation and is not able to finish, all who see it will begin to ridicule him, saying, This fellow began to build and was not able to finish. Or what king, going out to wage war against another king, will not sit down first and consider whether he is able, with ten thousand, to oppose the one who comes against him, with twenty thousand. If he cannot, then, while the other is still far away, he sends a delegation and asks for the terms of peace. So therefore, none of you can become my disciple if you do not give up all your possessions. Salt is good, but if salt has lost its taste, How can its saltiness be restored? It is fit neither for the soil nor for the manure pile. They throw it away. Let anyone with ears to hear listen. That is our scripture reading this morning. If you will, please join me now for a time together in prayer. Let us now pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, for those of us who come here on this Monday morning, feeling broken, bring restoration. For those of us who come here feeling weak, bring strength. For those who come here weeping, bring joy. For those of us who come here with doubts, bring faith. For those who are not a part of this right now, everyone else in this world, bring them what they need to find a grasping on their lives and to take a better lead into their goals and days ahead. Please be with all our church family as we enter a new week today and let us be thankful for those who help and support us every day for friends family church family as well as ultimately your son jesus in christ's name we pray amen thank you all for joining me here this morning hope to see you here tomorrow at 8 a.m i hope you all have a great day today